Well, I guess you're wondering where we are going this morning. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue following the leading of the Spirit, where the songwriter said, Lord, take my life and make it holy thine. Fill all my heart with thy great love divine. Take all my will, my passion, self, and pride. I know surrender, Lord, and thee abide. That's what God wants. But before we would really surrender, we need to consider our ways. So the question is asked, why am I to consider my ways? Why are you to consider your ways? Why are we to consider our ways? One, because the state of affairs demands it. When I say the state of affairs, I mean the happening. And that day, there was an unconcerned attitude of the people for the Lord's house. Look what was happening and what is happening today. Look around to the people in the world. Look at the behavior. No change. Look at the believers today. I am sure one would say that Christianity is not like it used to be. It seems like anything and everything is accepted now. So we are reminded by Haggai in chapter 1 verse 3 down to verse number 5. He said, Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, it is time for you, O ye, to dwell in your seed houses, and this house lie waste. Now therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. As believers, we must ask ourselves the question, what is the state of affairs in our own life? What is the state of our service to the Lord? How well have I served the Lord this past? Is our Christian life flourishing? What about your service? I often ask myself, what about my service to God? Are you faithful? Is God pleased with my service? Is God pleased with your service? If the answer is yes, then fine. If the answer is no, then we need to stop and consider our ways. May I ask, what about our private life that no one knows anything about, only God? How are you seen in the eyes of the public? When we are not well physically, we seek medical attention, do we not? When things are not well spiritually, here we see that we need to stop and give consideration to our ways to get spiritual help. It is like saying, I need an MRI. Doctors in the past would hear a case and assume, based on the symptoms, that this is what's happening on the inside. Now it's much easier. They would send you to get an MRI. In days gone in the past, you can lie and get away with it. Not these days. They can send you to get a test, and when you lie, there's a piece of instrument that determines that you're alive. Have you taken a spiritual MRI lately and see how things are with you? Why are we to consider our ways? Because it is good common sense to do so. I am sure that you have heard about aircrafts flying on automatic pilot. I am sure that you have heard about ships sailing on automatic pilot. Even on the ground, there are cars that run on cruise control. You could get up to 80 miles per hour out on a highway, interstate going from one state to the next, and you could just clock that 80 miles and press a button, cruise control, and you got nothing to worry about. Just hold the wheel and it will maintain that 80 miles per hour. You see, when a ship is on automatic pilot, or when a plane is on automatic pilot, the captain of the plane or the boat every so often check to see if the plane or the boat is still on course. In business, a good businessman will stop and take inventory of his business and will determine that this product cost us and we're not going to repeat this product. The other product we did not have enough of, we're going to go and buy more of that. It takes inventory of what has happened or what's happening. May I say to you that the Christian life is the same. Every so often, we need to stop and take inventory. How do we take inventory? Stop and consider our ways. Why do we need to consider our ways? I said because it's good common sense. And then notice something else. Because God demands it. In Haggai chapter 1 verse 5 and verse 7, Now therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Who is speaking? The Lord of hosts. Consider your ways. In verse 7, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. A lot of us, we know well how to look at the other person and how they behave and their ways. 
but we need to stop and pay attention to our ways. For if every man will consider his own ways, then every man's ways will be considered. The demand comes from God. Why would God ask us to consider our ways? God knows that we forget to recognize him sometimes. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2 and verse number 3, he says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Wow. He said, I have nourished my children. I have brought them up, and they have rebelled against me. But notice the sad part. He knows that we forget. He said, the ox knoweth his own. The ass his master crib, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. In all honesty, this is a sad saying. What he is saying is that animals are sometimes more concerned than some people. Look how it is explained in Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. The word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not, ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. He said, therefore, thou son of man, prepare thee stuff for removing, and remove by thee in their sight. And thou shalt remove from thy place to another place in their sight. It may be they will consider, though they be a rebellious house. God promised to send judgment for the people to consider. May I tell you, God was speaking then and God is speaking now. The prophet Haggai was to declare the message then and the message is to be declared now. I think that this is a year that those of us who are called by God to proclaim his word must get out there even bolder than before and declare the word of God and say, Thus saith the Lord. Why? Because judgment at the house of God. Let's consider our ways. Father, in the name of Jesus, morning after morning, as you lay on my heart the thoughts to share with your people, wherever they are heard, dear God, I pray that your people would share and that we will consider our ways, mm, the way we treat you and what belong to you. Would you forgive us? Would you help us? Lord, that we could do better. We love you, praise you, and thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.